Today, I'm going to show you how to use your tablets as an external display monitor. Chances are you probably bought something from the Black Friday or Cyber Monday. Here you can see I bought an Amazon tablet and then I laser engrave it with the Star Wars logo. On the right hand side is the iPad Air with M1 processor. Most likely you're going to use your iPad a lot for various stuff like Facebook, YouTube, web browsing, whatever. For the Amazon tablets, you will soon realize that it's very limited. You're basically stuck in Amazon's garden. So believe it or not, I actually use the Amazon tablet more as an external display monitor. And here's a quick look at the tablet being used in my office. It's sitting on a keyboard that was previously worked on in another video. Myself, I like to have the big giant screen to do the more important work. On the portable display, I have other lesser important works like email. Or right now, I'm learning stable diffusion. So on a big screen, it will be the main tutorials from YouTube. Meanwhile, I can have the stable diffusion running in, generating the images in this smaller tablet. Very slick. Here you can see the 3D printed mount stuck to the keyboard and holding the tablet into place. I can always yank the tablet out if I needed to. Getting started is ridiculously simple. All you have to do is go to Space Test, download this for your computer. I'm using a PC, so this is the software I download. Go ahead and install it on your computer and then it will sit there in the background. You don't have to do anything. Next up, install the app on your tablets. So on iPad, go to this link or search it in an app store. In the Amazon tablet itself, you have to find it in the Amazon store. Or you can always use another Android tablet like Samsung and get this installed on the tablet. Once the app is installed, go ahead and open it and the app should see the desktop. Here for mine, it's the desktop name and the IP address that's associated with my desktop. Go ahead and tap on it and then you should see your desktop being displayed on the tablet. Myself, I'm using a Windows desktop so I'm going to right click, go down to display settings and there you go, you can see two tablets being mounted. For my display setting, you can see monitor, the big giant monitor that you saw earlier. Three is the iPad and two is the Amazon tablet. Yeah, you can connect multiple tablets to extend the monitor or duplicate the display. Let's click on the iPad and see the settings. Here you can see the very basic resolution or the more higher resolution. Personally, I like the higher resolution. Of course, you can always change the orientation if your tablet is in the landscape mode or vertical mode. Myself, I like to extend the desktop, but you can always duplicate it just in case you're sitting in a bed or sofa. Once you're happy with your settings, go ahead and click on apply. It's really hard for me to show how this whole thing works, but basically if I'm working on a browser right here on the big giant monitor, and if I don't want to view that on the main screen, I can always go down, drag it down into this iPad, and then boom, it will show up on the iPad. It's pretty wild. Now this whole thing is wireless, so hopefully your Wi-Fi network is super fast. I'm using the Eero Mesh access point, so it's super fast. But if you are experiencing delays, go ahead and use a USB cable and plug it into the tablet and on the other side, plug it into the desktop. It works fine via Wi-Fi or wire. Very nice. Next up, if you ever experience trouble whereby if you connect your phone, like a Samsung phone, an Android phone, to your desktop via USB-C for file transfer, it will not work. So in order to prevent that, go ahead and right click on the task manager. Go all the way down in background processes. Find space desk service.exe and then terminate it. Once the process is terminated, then you can transfer files from your phone to the desktop or vice versa via the USB cable once more. Otherwise, Windows will think you're using the wire as an external display. All right, hopefully you found this video helpful on how to use your tablet as an external monitor. I really appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel, liking this video, and thanks for watching.